Hi, this is Tracy HD with the weekly oracle and tarot card reading. And today I'm using the Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor because these cards have been spot on. If you'd like to purchase this deck, you could click the link down below in the description box. It will take you right to Amazon. They will deliver it right to your door. And you could use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards for the beginning, middle, and end of the week. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. I'm going to take a card from the top for card number one or the beginning of the week. Card number two will be the center card or middle of the week. And card three will be the bottom card or end of the week. Let's see what we have. So we start out the week with the family tree. Wow. Okay. And it says expansion and legacy. And this is card number 14 for those of you who follow numerology. And this tree on the card represents the lineage of a family with a baby, you know, um, and a couple standing, you know, underneath the tree. And it looks like there's grandparents in the background. And, you know, I love this little baby hanging here in this little hammock, the self-made hammock. What a cute, cute hammock. Um, and this signifies an expansion of your family, perhaps through a marriage, um, the coming of a child, or maybe even both. It could also herald an increase in family celebrations or connections with close friends. A reunion, a wedding, or some holiday gathering may be coming up. Whether it's a big personal change, such as the birth of a child, or a shared event like a birthday party, let yourself welcome the experience. Embrace a growing sense of family with your friends as well. The love that you bring to each relationship is a part of your energetic legacy now and for generations to come. And then in the middle of the week, for those of you that picked card number two, we have letting go of urgency. Okay, we have this person running out the door. Okay, and there's all these clocks over here. Maybe somebody feels time is running out. Okay, maybe that's what's going on here. One of you out there is thinking time is running out, that you got to rush, rush, rush. And I know that's a habit I have to break. Um, and it says surrender freedom from time constraints. Card number 19. And what this card is telling us is it's showing, you know, this person, you know, running out of this room filled with these clocks and calendars. Um, he has notes to himself and, and an air of urgency pervades the room. Uh, through all this frantic expectation, a tree has grown into the room and he has attached clocks to it as well. I mean, look at this tree growing here inside his office. <laughs> Every time I look at these cards, I see something different that I haven't noticed before. Um, you're becoming immersed in tasks and obligations, losing your self-priority and peace of mind in the process. And, you know, we all go through that. I mean, I have to slow myself down all the time. I, I just try to take on so much. And you know what? In the meantime, you're not even enjoying the moment. You're not enjoying life. Life is passing you by when you're overloaded like this. You know, so now's the time to let go of the urgency and overwhelming demand. Surrender control and the need to stay on top of everything. Start focusing on your own life. Uh, the tree growing in the room, you know, that's what that symbolizes, our own life. That's the tree of life there in the room. By setting boundaries and prioritizing your own self-care, you'll actually make it easier to get things done. And for some of you, it may even be saying no to people. Because, you know, sometimes people take advantage of our kindness. And, you know, they figure they could always get favors from us or get us to do their work for them. Nope. May need to say no. And this card to me is like screaming self-care. And you're going to say, well, Tracy, how do I have time to slow down? I have so much stuff to do. Well, guess what? When you're that busy, you need to make time because that is the time when you need to slow down the most before you're exhausted. And then at the end of the week, or those of you that picked card number three, we have sensitivity and strength. And I love this feather floating down from the sky. And it says, tapping the forces within. And this is card number three. And this card's telling us a situation calls for some sensitivity now. It may be an issue with a friend or someone at work or somebody in your family. Even if it's in your nature to be strong and control and sometimes even aggressive, remember that it's possible to be both tender and strong at the same time. 
This card's telling you to pause and resist any old urge to plow through things. Consider the peace and compassion you could introduce into a tense or tumultuous situation. When you look at the situation with flexibility and calm clarity, you bring gentle, receptive, yin-yang energy to the issue. Um, then your sensitivity and strength will come together in vibrations as powerful and as soothing as the sun's rays. So this is telling, you know, instead of being like stuck, you know, and stubborn and rigid, you know, something in your life is, is asking you to show more sensitivity, to show more flexibility, you know, and it's not weak to be sensitive. You know, sometimes we have to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and, and be sensitive to what their needs are to maybe look at a situation in a different light. Wow, very interesting week for us. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.